హాయ్ హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ రియల్ అనాలిసిస్లో రియల్ అనాలిసిస్లో రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేషన్లో మనకు ఒక ఇంపార్టెంట్ తీరం ఉంది సో నిన్న పోస్ట్ చేయడం జరిగింది ఈ తీరం ఈరోజు ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తానని తీరం స్టేట్మెంట్ చూడండి ఇఫ్ ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అన్ ఏ కామా బి దెన్ మాడ్ ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అన్ ఏ కామా బి ఎఫ్ అనేది ఏ కామా బి పైన రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అవుతే మాడ్ ఎఫ్ కూడా ఏ కామా బి పైన రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అవుతుందని ప్రూవ్ చేయాలి so for this before going to start this theorem mana channel ki yanke evaraina first time vachinatlaite like cheyandi share cheyandi adhe vidhanga subscribe cheskoni vaale evaraina unte dai chesi subscribe cheskondi okay so let us start our theorem so what is given first f is riemann integrable on a comma b then f for riemann integrable avte if f is riemann integrable then it is bounded okay if it is bounded there should be a infimum moment supremum okay this is the concept what is that concept if f is riemann integrable then it is bounded if it is bounded there should be a infimum moment supremum okay this is the concept okay right so already given f is a bounded on a comma b then mod f is also bounded on a comma b this is the previous property we have a property f is bounded on a comma b then mod f is also bounded on a comma b now for f we have infimum moment supremum no why well, because it is bounded means it has infimum and supremum so let us take small mr as infimum capital mr as supremum of f on a comma b now for mod f also we should take uh, infimum and supremum no for that for mod f mr dash is infimum of mod f and capital mr dash is supremum of mod f on a comma b just we are we are considering for this f infimum and supremum for this mod f infimum and supremum okay now now see let us take any two values in uh, rth sub interval so ee rth sub interval ante ento telavali ante so see the previous videos of uh, riemann integration then you can understand what is ir okay <coughs> so now i am taking a two elements in rth sub interval that is alpha comma beta then we have a property modulus of mod f of alpha minus mod f of beta is equal to మాడులస్ ఆఫ్ మాడ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ఫా మైనస్ మాడ్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ బీటా సో మనం ఏం ప్రూవ్ చేయాలి అంటే మాడ్ ఎఫ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ కావాలి అంటే మనం ప్రూవ్ చేయాల్సింది ఏంటంటే ఫైనల్గా యూపీ జనరల్గా ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అయితే యూపీఎఫ్ మైనస్ ఎల్పిఎఫ్ షుడ్ బి లెస్ దెన్ ఎఫ్సిలాన్ అవ్వాలి సో ఇది ఎఫ్ ఈజ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అయితే ఇప్పుడు మాడ్ ఎఫ్ రైమాన్ ఇంటిగ్రేబుల్ అవ్వాలి అంటే ఇక్కడ మాడ్ ఉంటే సరిపోతుంది అంటే LP mod f minus up mod f minus lp mod f should be less than epsilon then we can say mod f is riemann integrable for that reason here we are considering <coughs> this step okay here we are considering this step see so let us take uh, mod less of mod f of alpha minus mod f of beta so by cauchy's inequality we can write this as less than or equal to mod less of f of alpha minus f of beta means inside uh, modulus if you remove inside modulus then it will be less than or equal to okay this is the property right now mod f of alpha here alpha is a supremum and a beta is infimum of ir if you if you consider alpha is supremum and beta is infimum of ir then f of alpha will become infimum that is sorry, supremum that is capital mr dash f of beta will become infimum that is small mr dash same like that f of alpha will become supremum of f f of beta will become infimum of f okay so we got this condition so keep it like this only now we should take lhs that is up up mod f minus lp mod f up mod f minus lp mod f up mod f is nothing but sum of r is equal to 1 to n u means upper upper means supremum that is mr dash delta r this is the formula i give i explain this all the formulas this all the concept in the previous videos about anti nil cart lo isthanu check in description i will give that all uh, video links okay so up mod f minus lp mod f that is sum of r is equal to 1 to m for u supremum mr dash delta r why because here mod f is there that's why dash came minus sum of r is equal to 1 to n for this small mr dash delta r if you observe here sum of r is equal to 1 to n is common delta r is common then 
capital M R dash minus small M R dash. If you observe here capital M R dash minus small M R dash, it is should be less than or equal to small M R capital M R minus small M R. So that we replace here. If you replace here, then is equal to will become less than or equal to. Again, again split into two terms. Okay, split into two terms. M R delta R and minus M R delta R. So this is nothing but U P F. Okay. So here dash not there no. So this is what U P F upper Riemann sum. This is L P F lower Riemann sum. Already we know by known theorem. By known theorem already we know U P F minus L P F is less than epsilon. Or he given already F is Riemann integrable and a comma b. So that this condition should be satisfied. U P F minus L P F should be less than epsilon. So this is less than epsilon is nothing but this also less than epsilon. This also less than epsilon. This we have a condition. Compare these two. If we compare these two, then this will become less than epsilon. This will become less than epsilon. Therefore, mod f is Riemann integrable on a comma b. Okay. So mod f is Riemann integrable on o a comma b. Very easy and simple theorem. <coughs> I hope all you clear. Now video can come. If you like it, like change it, share change it. Other than that, if you have any doubts, you can follow me. You can message me in Instagram. That Instagram link also I will give in the description, okay? Or else in Telegram. In Telegram also we have a group VSP Unity. Join in that group, okay? So thank you, thank you for watching. Stay home, stay safe. Happy learning.